This is a two pound gummy. His name is Dummy, Crash Test Dummy. And today, he's going to help us learn about Isaac Newton's first law of motion, part B. An object in motion stays in motion at the same speed, going in the same direction, unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Our crash test dummy was going to need some wheels, some fast wheels. So I hooked him up with this sweet ride. Now let's look at exhibit one, the head-on crash. Newton's first law, or the law of inertia, basically just explains how objects will keep on doing whatever they're already doing. So any objects in a car will want to keep right on moving if the car comes to a sudden stop. Watch as our crash test gummy demonstrates exactly that. Even though the car stops, the object in the car keeps right on going at the same speed it was going before the collision. If it weren't for the unbalanced forces of gravity, friction, and air resistance, this gummy would keep right on moving indefinitely. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect time to express just how critically important seat belts are. That's right, without the seat belt to keep you attached to the car, your body will continue until it meets an object capable of stopping it. And that object could be the dashboard, the windshield, a tree, the road, another passing car. You see, the seat belt is the critical link that allows you to slow down with your car. A device that has been beautifully engineered to crush, to crumple, and even release airbags in such a way as to slow you down in the gentlest fashion possible. If you decide to cut yourself free from this important restraint, in an accident, your stop will very likely be sudden and violent. So, always wear your seatbelt. Keeps you very safe. Now on to exhibit two, where we examine how objects resist not only a change in their speed, but also a change in the direction they are moving in. I'm sure you've felt this one before too. If you're driving along in a car and the driver suddenly turns, you may feel like the door hit you. However, this actually isn't the case. Instead, your body tried to keep going straight even though the car did not. The door simply prevented you from continuing in your original direction. I decided to try this one out for myself in an all-terrain vehicle that didn't have any doors to stop me. When the driver suddenly took a hard turn to the left, I found myself rolling away from the vehicle, basically traveling in the same direction I was before the turn. Let's take a look as our crash test dummy illustrates this same thing. Watch how when the car swerves to the right, our crash test dummy keeps right on going straight. Newton's first law also explains to us how unbalanced forces cause changes to an object's original motion. Without these forces, objects would act much like they would in outer space, moving almost completely without influence from unbalanced forces. Now, since SpaceX was a little bit beyond this video's budget, I got to thinking, was there some other way I could reduce the unbalanced forces on my gummy bear to see if I could make him go farther? What if, for instance, I launched him at an angle so that he wouldn't hit the road as quickly and experience that friction force? I decided it was time to build a monster ramp and see if we could get a little more air time. Maybe I could even launch this little guy into space if the ground wasn't there to stop his motion. I got a good long running start and gave the car full throttle. Now right about here, I thought maybe we had broken the bonds of Earth and set this little guy free to fly. But alas, it was not to be. The unbalanced force of gravity rapidly changed his speed and direction and brought him to an abrupt stop on the hood of the truck. 
But I wasn't about to give up just yet. I decided more power was needed, and I brought out the monster rubber band. It was time to send this gummy to infinity and beyond. That's not actually how it turned out. Our friendly crash test dummy didn't make it into space. It did, however, clear the entire Toyota Tundra before it came to a rather violent stop. You see, here on planet Earth, there are multiple unbalanced forces that act upon objects that are in flight. Gravity, friction, and air resistance, they all conspire to change the motion of flying objects from the path that they would otherwise have taken. In an interesting application of Newton's first law, we realize that space travel is actually fairly efficient. Once you get an object moving, well, energy is not required to keep it moving. As long as you stay away from large amounts of matter, and especially massive objects, you'll only need more energy if you want to speed up, slow down, or change your direction. And so, there we have it, Isaac Newton's first law of motion. An object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion at the same speed, going the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. And now, there's really just one more thing that needs to be done. Who ever knew that scientific discovery could be so delicious? Mm. Have a great day, always wear your seatbelt, and stay curious, my friends. <laughs>